In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing plays in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every single day that are designed to help you get better at Madden 21. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so just wanted to share with you a quick little play out of the New England Patriots playbook. This is the best offensive playbook in Madden 21, in my opinion. And if you want to get my full scheme on it, all you got to do is click the link in the description. It will get you a link to the full uh, ebook on this. But we're going to come out in Mike Blitz 3 here. And I just wanted to show you um, a simple yard gainer that I really, really like out of the trips tight end. Now trips tight end, in my opinion, is one of the best offenses in Madden 21 uh, this year. And in particular, the New England playbook has a couple of unique plays. And the play that we're going to be going over today is Pat's Flood. Now the reason I like this is this pairs very nicely with something like drive post. So I'll show you both of those plays uh, today. We've talked about drive post before, but we're going to talk about it again today. So um, all you're going to do, whenever you run trips, as a general rule of thumb, you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field. So I like to make sure that I'm on the right hash when I'm running this play. Um, if you're on the left hash, you would just flip this. But here's how you do it. Literally, all you're going to do, you don't really need any setup whatsoever for this play. But what I like to do personally is I like to go ahead and take Scotty Miller and put him on a hitch. And I like Mike Evans on a smoke screen. And then from there on the right side, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. If you have a tight end apprentice, you can put him on a post route. If you don't have a tight end apprentice, I actually really like a delay fade here. And then to the running back, I really like a simple check and release route just like that. And snap the ball, what you're going to notice here is if they're not playing hard flats, you're going to be able to hit Mike Evans right quick, easy read. And the next thing that you're going to notice is if they are playing hard flats, then you're going to notice that Chris Godwin, and because it's that out route, that 10 and out route, you see he is going to be wide open against most cover threes. Now, you did notice the deep third out of a cover three will come down on that out route if there's nothing to take him back. So that is something that you need to be kind of concerned about, and that's why I like to just low ball it. Um, by low balling this, you really do keep it out of harm's way. Um, it does help a ton with this play. This is something that I like to run whenever I've begun to notice that they're just kind of getting a little bit over committing. They're trying to stop the post routes, the curl flat routes, the things like that. And so this is a play that I really like to go to. So what this is going to force your defense to do is it's going to force your defense to enable coverage. You guys have seen that before. This is basically what it looks like here. you got a purple zone shaded at 25 yards, and then you got that flat zone that's about five yards or less. And what you'll notice is when you do see something like this, um, oftentimes this out route actually does a really, really good job at getting open late against a Mabel coverage. One of the things I also want to cover here is let's show the Mabel when the Mabel comes from the slot corner. There's two different points at which this occurs, but all in all, guys, what you'll notice here is you'll see right there when they when they Mabel from that purple zone on being on the corner, it's not as open as it was. So that's just something you have to be aware of. Now, against a lot of teams, what they're going to do whenever they may will coverage is they will be watching more of the tight end side of this formation as opposed to somebody like Scotty Miller. So in that case, that's where we're going to see this little hitch route become wide open. If they're just Mabel coveraging and they're not putting the yellow zone on that side of the field, you're going to be able to hit them consistently. So what this is going to do is it's going to force them to kind of do a defense like this one right here. As you see, I have yellows, two yellow zones, max kind of coverage defense. And what I like to do with this play is I honestly love this route to Chris Godwin. I don't want to waste it. So I will literally just motion this route uh, across. So I'll put the running back on a little shoot flat route. I may put the tight end on a post route or some kind of slant or something like that. Maybe even just a baby in route, honestly. And then I'll basically run a curl flat concept on that backside. So you'll see it's going to look something like this. But essentially, I'm going to turn it into a levels concept or a thin concept, and you're gonna see that deep, deep in route get so far back. Now, obviously, as you see there, the yellow zone can drop back into that, that point, but what I want you to see is that this is going to do a good job 
and just you know kind of keep everything in front of you. So if I have a tight end, I can put him on a drag, you know, something like that, just kind of underneath route, and then you're going to be able to hit this route to Chris Godwin. It's a nice 15 yard dig route. One of the things that I would recommend to you if you're running trips tight end with any regularity is to go ahead, whenever you motion Chris Godwin across the formation, go ahead and make sure that you have that drag route already set up to your tight end. And the reason why is because then you can snap this ball right about here, and you're going to find that you're going to have a lot more success with this route whenever you snap it right about there, pass lead up. As you can see, it's going to do a good job at beating most coverages in the game. Now, the next play I wanted to cover with you really quickly is how does this work against man coverage? There's a lot of people running man coverage this year. And honestly, the way this is going to work as far as against man-to-man -man coverage is you're going to notice that Chris Godwin will almost always beat man coverage to the outside. As you see right there, almost always going to beat man coverage to the outside. So some of you might say, well, what if they do kind of the meta man-to-man -man coverage? I've been seeing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage like this. Or basically, we're going to put those pay, uh, those those uh, safeties in purple zones. You know, how does this do against something like that? Well, I'll show you right here. You're going to notice that you can lowball this, click on the receiver, and come back and make a user catch of your own if you want to do something like that. So that's just something you need to be aware of. And then I did want to show you what our second setup did against man-to-man -man coverage. In my opinion, the second way we run this play um, is a little bit better against man-to-man -man coverage. You see this kind of dual crossing route type of deal you're going to see some man switches but that dig route is going to be super consistent for you so this is one of my favorite plays in madden 21 now if you want to get the full ebook out of new england go ahead and shoot um or uh, hit that link in the description it uh, shows you a link where you can pick up the full guide if you want more um tips for trips tied in i'm actually going to be covering that this week in my text message membership Right now we have some other formations from New England broken down the text membership. So if you haven't joined that yet, it's completely free to join that. Literally all you gotta do is send me a personal text message. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful to you. We're gonna be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So make sure to come by, hang out and let us know what's up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock.